Lakers lost another game last night before they head out on a five-game East Coast road trip. But help may be on the way. According to a report, LA expects LeBron back, back, quote, soon after the King has missed the past seven games with an abdominal strain. So, Shannon, maybe you have the inside scoop. How much better will he make at the Lakers? Hold on. A former trainer for the Lakers said LeBron James' injury is four to six weeks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That in said, general, that the ab strain. Yeah, yep. yeah he said mm-hmm. that. That was, uh, I think that was Thursday. I think it was four to eight weeks. Yeah, yeah, four, yeah. okay. That was Thursday. Yep. Mm. Well, he didn't have any hands-on knowledge. So why he wrong. say that? Uh, he's just talking in generalities. So in other words, he's talking out a, a part that he shouldn't be talking out of. But anyway, back to our regular scheduled programming. So so you think he's going to shatter the mold? No, on I, this, I, right? skip, I didn't say that. But he's skip, back to being Iron Man? Even, okay. Mm. You can you concluded that he's not the best player. Okay, I, I'm not here to fight you on that one today. Well, I thought you were. Y- Giannis. Mm-hmm. No. Steph. No. KD. Seven foot monster. No, no. But I'm saying, Skip. I still I still believe he's one of the five best players in the NBA. Mm. How does getting one of the five best players back on your roster not help? Now, I have anything to do because you got a six foot three monster. <laughs> That's yep. gonna keep rearing his head as soon as the other monster comes out. Mm-hmm. But Skip, I think he can settle the offense down. We know that in, in late game situations, he's gonna have the ball in his hands. I trust him with the ball in his hands better than we trust the other guy with the ball in his hands. Mm-hmm. And look, it will it will also allow players mm-hmm. to go back to their natural role. Carmelo goes back to the bench. Yeah, uh, I believe Tht is gonna stay in the starting line. I do Skip. too. I agree. So now you're going to have Malik Monk, you're going to have Carmelo, you're mm-hmm. going to have uh, 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 Wayne Ellington coming off the bench. Rose there, Baysmore will be a bit. Those guys are better suited for those roles, mm-hmm. and I think things will, things will fall back into place. But at the end of the day, Skip, Russ is going to have to make open shots. I'm not saying they have to be three, but they're going to double AD. They're going to double LeBron, and LeBron's going to swing the ball. Mm-hmm. AD's going to go cross, gonna, you know, face up and go cross court with it. And Russ is going to have to hit shots. Or he's going to have to drive the ball and dish it off, and they're going to have to make shots. But at the end of the day, Skip, none of this is going to matter if they don't play defense. Mm. But I, 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 when Braun come back, well, put it like this. We got to the trade deadline. There ain't no reason that we, we got to keep him. So we going to see what happens to the trade deadline. We, and, and if things don't change, you know, I might need to call Jeannie myself. Hey, mm. Jeannie, this ain't working. The coach ain't working. A lot of things ain't working. Maybe mm. we need to go in a different direction. Mm. You're talking about shipping Russ out of here? Frankie V, Russ, and whoever else that's not on board with getting this thing heading in the right direction. Wait, Frankie V's already on the hot seat? What you mean already? I Did you not know. see last year? Well, I see Twitter every night, and I see he trends because Laker Nation wants him out. His rotations. Yeah, I okay. Mean, so that's where we are with that. I never had a lot of respect for him anyway, and he is just the assistant coach because the head that. coach has been hurt. So that's been <laughs> tough on Frankie V because he's had to go it alone, right? <laughs> Here we go. He ain't going to alone. I will give you this. LeBron's return can't hurt. And yet, even LeBron James in year 19, as great as he is, and I'll even give you this, he's still a top five performer in this league. Even he, Careful. with the highest IQ in basketball, <laughs> cannot overcome <laughs> Russell Westbrook. I knew you were going to say it. I I'm just it. sorry, I, but I first guessed it. I told you this before the year. Even LeBron can't rise above this. Even LeBron can't fix him in year 14. He's unfixable. He is who he always was. Right. He's a triple-double waiting to happen. He's a quadruple-double waiting, waiting to, happen. to happen. And he's leading the league in turnovers. And before I proceed, I just got to do this one more time because... What you going to do? Can we just see the turnovers from last night? Because this was a good night for us. This was only four turnovers from last night, if we could please see the four. These are his four turnovers, and this one really got me. This one, this is early in the game when it's still a game. Why would he, why would he, why would he, why would he throw know. that pass? You threw it left-handed. You threw it out of bounds for, to, to, to get what? Okay, Russ, come on. Russ, No. Come on. And the last two are just offensive fouls. He plays a little football. Like you said, he'd be a good running back, wouldn't he? <laughs> I think he could be a good strong safety. And then he just Look plays contri- completely out of control and just runs Caruso completely over. Okay. 
It's just wild, crazy basketball. Yeah. It's uncoachable, unteachable kind of basketball that will drive LeBron James right. out of his mind. Yeah. It, he's had to sit there and watch it, and now he's going to have to be up close next to it and watch it. And here's the God's truth about this situation. I believe they're better without Russell Westbrook. That's what I believe. Seriously, yeah. better. As is. As is. Yeah. Because I like Taylor Horton Tucker, as I you say. Yeah. Melo's been playing at a supremely high mm -hmm. level. He looks like reborn. Right. I, I like him on the floor. I trust him when he's on the floor. Avery Bradley can really play D. Wayne Ellington, I know he's cold last night, but, but he can shoot it. Yeah. Malik Monk has had stretches where he just goes crazy hot, mm -hmm. right? Austin Reeves has been a revelation as an undrafted kid out of University of Oklahoma. Well, he helps. He, he's Caruso-like. He's not Alex Caruso, yeah. but he can play defense and make things happen, to right? To make a long story short, you'd have been better off keeping Caruso and yeah. signing Buddy Hill. Right. That, 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 okay. that would have been your best bet. Okay. And you can still got Melo. Okay, so how do you work around this? Well, I, I proposed the very first week of the season. Russ would be best leading the shock troops playing 20 minutes off Man. the bench. He is not going to literally sit still for no. that. And yet... I can also make an even better case that if he just didn't play at all, if you DNP'd him, I swear you'd be a better basketball team once LeBron's back and he's I'm healthy. I'm not so sure. We might be trading for John Wall. Is John okay. Wall healthy? I think he is, actually. Yep. I mean, he's been at practice trying to help Jalen Green and watch him practice. I think he's healthy. Yeah. yeah. They're just paying him to sit right, right. now. Because they, they they hope he ain't taking no buyout because he has a $47 million play option for next <laughs> year. And he, and he, and he, take, and he, getting, all, he getting all that because okay. he knows the big paydays are probably over. Okay, and you mentioned Bazemore. He's still a pretty serviceable player, and he can play defense. Yeah. He does play defense. I don't know. And Dwight coming off the bench, and and obviously Anthony is still a top-five player. Well, who, who needs Russell Westbrook? I, I don't know, but you're stuck with it. You're stuck with him. Yeah. We, we, you, Skip, it, it, it's that gift that you didn't need, but you wanted. Now that you have it, what the hell we do with it? I don't know. I, I don't know how. D does LeBron go back to running the point where he's born to play yeah. point guard? Sure he does. Okay, do you want Russ as your two? He's shooting 29% from three. They're daring him to shoot. No. I want him as my seventh. Okay. Which is the seventh guy off the bench. <laughs> no, the the well, number that, two guy off the bench. That's, that's how he plays. He should be your seventh man <laughs> off the bench, and he should play, you know, 18 minutes but a night. He, but Skip, he, look, we knew this. This is what he – Russ hasn't changed. He's been the same player from OKC to Houston to, the, uh, uh, to Washington, now to the Lakers. Okay, the triple-doubles are good. They're fine. But the turnovers, you not win – uh, a guy that's averaging five turnovers a game. High five turnovers, mm -hmm. five and a half yep. turnovers a game. Mm -hmm. You're not winning a championship if he has to have the ball in his hand. You're not. You're not. That's why Kevin Durant said, I can't do this anymore after 10 years. He's going into you his 10th year. He had nine years of this, not all with Russ. Right. But he just seen enough, and he said, I, I can't do it anymore. Okay, ridicule me. I'm going to join forces with those guys because I want to go win a ring. Yeah. But but I'm just trying to figure. I'm trying to rack my brain. Who was a guy that was a high, a historically great player that was a high turnover guy, and you won a championship with? Skip, you can look at go back and look at all the point guards. They didn't turn the ball over like this. This is ridiculous. And you just well, he got ten, well, he got ten assists, bro. He had seven. He had eight turnovers. You can't you, ten assists and eight turnovers is not good. I mean, nineteen nine and eight. That that sounds. Pretty reasonable until but, but, you get but, to the five. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Five? He's running away with the NBA turnover lead over James Harden. Yes. And, and when you couple it with they're just daring him to shoot threes because he's 29%, which is it ranks 143rd of 163 point shooters. It's high volume, very low efficiency. Yes. But that but that's but skip, that's what he is. He's a ball dominant, inefficient shooter. That, that, that's what he is, he's a, uh, and he's turnover prone. I mean, how do you have? How does one guy have so many flaws and become a great player? That just goes to show you how, how off the chart his talent is. Mm -hmm. He's inefficient. He's turnover prone. Yep. And he's a terrible shooter. He's a terrible. And shooter. he turned himself into an MVP. How? <laughs> I don't know. I've asked you that because he's averaged something we thought we'd never see. Oscar did it. 
Once. Once. Yes. Once? Once. And he's done it four out of five years? Right. Slam dunk first ballot yes. Hall of Famer, yes. right? Yes. Because he's an explosive athletic scorer. We get that. Yes. But he's the worst jump shooter I've ever seen right. for a superstar. No, okay. You get no mm. jump shooter. Shooter, yep. period. You shooter, fetch right shot. what he is. <laughs> yeah. But, but actually, I, it, it but it just goes to show you just yeah. how talented this young man is. Oh, in order to have this many flaws and to turn himself into a Hall of Famer, an MVP, a per perennial All Star, All NBA player, do you understand how off the charts his talent is to be this flawed and to be this great? Yep. Nobody ever held him accountable because he was scoring at a high clip and he was creating excitement at an even higher clip. Yeah. Right? And, and he don't even care. Now he just show up. He on, he on his press conference. He turning on his phone. He looking at his phone. He, he don't even care. Nope. Yeah. He does not care. No not conscience. Look. Okay. This is, a, we're going to go a different direction here. The Cowboys did get a big win this weekend, but it was something Mike McCarthy said afterwards. What did he say? Lord have mercy. What did he say? What did he say? What'd he say? What'd he say? What'd I've never seen him like this I'm going to explain it, and we'll Where talk about it Where did this come now. from? <laughs> no mercy. No mercy.